Jan Michael Vincent, best remembered for his iconic role in Airwolf, stood as one of the era's most talented and highest paid actors. However, beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Vincent's life was marred by turmoil. His journey was fraught with personal struggles and tragic events, ultimately culminating in his untimely demise in 2019. Let's delve into his early life and career to understand how he ascended from obscurity to stardom in a matter of years, only to find himself grappling with inner demons and drifting on the fringes of Hollywood until his career came to an end. Jan Michael Vincent's Early Life Jan Michael Vincent's roots trace back to a family with a colorful history, marked by tales of both intrigue and turmoil. Born in 1944 in Denver, Colorado, Jan Michael was raised in the shadow of his family's legacy. His father, unlike many relatives before him, diverged from the family's criminal path. Instead of following in the footsteps of bank robbers and counterfeiters, Jan Michael's father pursued a different calling, joining the U.S. Army in 1941. Rising through the ranks, Jan Michael's father became a pilot of B-25 bombers, serving his country with honor and distinction. This legacy of military service left a mark on John Michael, influencing his own path after completing his full-time education. Following in his father's footsteps, Jan Michael joined the California Army National Guard, embracing a similar commitment to service and duty. However, Jan Michael's familial history was not without its share of intrigue. His paternal lineage was riddled with tales of bank robberies and run-ins with the law. Jan Michael's grandfather was notorious for his exploits as both a bank robber and counterfeiter during the 1920s and 1930s. Tragically, one of Jan Michael's uncles met his end in a shootout with a deputy sheriff while being pursued for a bank robbery in Oregon. Meanwhile, two other uncles found themselves behind bars after being convicted of bank robbery in 1931. Even Jan Michael's grandfather and another uncle faced legal repercussions after being apprehended for robbing banks in 1932. Despite this tumultuous family history, Jan Michael's father chose a path of honor and service, instilling in Jan Michael a sense of duty and discipline. While the shadows of his family's past loomed large, Jan Michael forged his own destiny, determined to carve out a different legacy for himself in the world. During the vibrant 1960s in California, the allure of surfing and the laid-back lifestyle drew countless young men to the beaches and streets of the state. Amidst the sea of cool dudes soaking up the sun, John Michael Vincent must have possessed a certain magnetic charm that caught the eye of a movie scout. Legend has it that while basking on a California beach, Jan's presence radiated an aura of star quality that instantly captured the attention of a talent spotter, setting the stage for his entry into the world of cinema. Remarkably, despite lacking formal training in drama, the 22-year-old Jan found himself thrust into the spotlight. In 1967, he secured his inaugural role in The Bandits, alongside Robert Conrad, marking the beginning of his cinematic journey. Additionally, he landed a part in a made-for-TV movie titled the Hardy Boys, The Mystery of the Chinese Junk. A golden career. Following his entry into Universal Studios, Jan Michael Vincent quickly made his mark with appearances in a variety of TV shows. Viewers caught glimpses of his talent in episodes of iconic series such as Dragnet 1968 and The Banana Splits, where he portrayed muscly students. However, it was in 1969 that Jan truly stepped into the spotlight, landing a starring role in the soap opera The Survivors, alongside luminaries George Hamilton and Lana Turner. Despite the star-studded cast, the series met an untimely demise, being canceled midway through its inaugural season. The late 1960s proved to be a fruitful period for Jan. He found himself sharing the screen with legends like John Wayne and Rock Hudson in the movie The Undefeated. Set in the aftermath of the Civil War, the film follows thrilling adventures in Mexico as Emperor Maximilian struggles to reclaim his throne. While the critics applauded Jan's performance, the film failed to make a significant impact at the box office. 
During this time, Jan also graced the small screen with memorable appearances in popular series such as Bonanza and Lassie, showcasing his versatility as an actor. As the 1970s dawned, Jan continued to impress with roles in acclaimed made-for-TV films like Tribes and Going Home, where his performances garnered praise from critics and audiences alike. He further solidified his status as a rising star with notable roles in films like The Mechanic, starring alongside Charles Bronson and Disney's The World's Greatest Athlete. Television continued to provide a platform for Jan's talent, with appearances in beloved series like Gunsmoke and Marcus Welby, M.D. Jan Michael Vincent continued to make waves in Hollywood with a string of notable film roles, solidifying his status as a rising star. Audiences were taken aback when he appeared in the 1974 romance film Buster and Billy, where he shocked viewers by bearing it all on screen. Undeterred by controversy, Jan embraced a variety of movie roles in the years that followed, showcasing his talent alongside Hollywood heavyweights like Gene Hackman, Candace Bergen, and James Coburn in films like Bite the Bullet. Throughout the late 1970s and early 1980s, Jan Michael Vincent's star continued to rise as he graced the silver screen in a series of big-budget Hollywood productions, from action-packed thrillers like White Line Fever to heartfelt dramas like Baby Blue Marine. Jan captivated audiences with his versatility and charisma. His leading roles in films such as Defiance and Hard Country further cemented his status as a leading man in Hollywood. However, it was his iconic role as Stringfellow Hawk in the hit TV series Airwolf that catapulted Jan Michael Vincent to household name status. Portraying the skilled pilot in the world of espionage, Jan captured the hearts of audiences worldwide with his captivating performance. His portrayal of Stringfellow Hawk not only earned him critical acclaim, but also made him the highest-paid TV actor of his time, commanding an impressive $200,000 per episode. Despite his soaring success, Jan's personal struggles with addiction began to overshadow his professional achievements. During the filming of the third season of Airwolf, Jan's battle with drugs and alcohol became increasingly evident, leading to delays and production difficulties. His erratic behavior on set, including forgetting lines and struggling to perform basic tasks, ultimately led to the cancellation of the series. Despite its premature end, Airwolf had become a beloved fixture in television history with John Michael Vincent's portrayal of Stringfellow Hawk leaving an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. However, behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Jan's personal demons continued to haunt him, marking the beginning of a tumultuous period in his life and career, career decline. Despite the cancellation of Airwolf, Jan Michael Vincent continued to find work in the entertainment industry, albeit on a smaller scale. In 1986, he made an appearance in an episode of the TV series Hotel, showcasing his enduring talent and versatility. Additionally, he took on roles in made-for-TV movies such as Six Against the Rock in 1987 and Tarzan in Manhattan in 1989, proving that he still had much to offer as an actor. Jan's commitment to overcoming his addictions seemed to pay off allowing him to secure leading roles in various projects during the late 1980s. In 1989, he starred in the thriller Hit List, directed by William Lustig, showcasing his ability to captivate audiences with his intense performances. The following year, Jan took on leading roles in films like Alienator and the Australian thriller Demonstone, further demonstrating his range as an actor. However, as the 1990s dawned, Jan Michael Vincent's presence in major Hollywood productions began to wane. While he continued to appear in a few direct-to-video and less successful films, his struggles with substance abuse persisted, making him increasingly difficult to work with on set. As he entered late middle age, opportunities for character roles became scarce, signaling a challenging period in his career. As Jan Michael Vincent's career trajectory took a downturn, 
he found himself increasingly relegated to roles in slasher movies and erotic films like Sins of Desire, where his name appeared lower and lower on the cast lists. In The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams, he portrayed a trapper whose billing was overshadowed even by the named animals featured in the film, signaling a stark contrast to his earlier prominence in Hollywood. By 2003, Jan's opportunities in the film industry had dwindled, and his final movie role came in a cameo appearance in White Boy. His presence on television screens also became sporadic, with his last TV appearance dating back to 1997 in a guest spot on an episode of Nash Bridges, Jan Michael Vincent's ruptured personal life. At the young age of 22, Jan found himself catapulted into the world of Hollywood with opportunities that many actors only dreamt of achieving after years of hard work and dedication. He seemed to have hit the jackpot right from the start, sharing the screen with legendary figures like John Wayne and earning substantial sums of money for his roles. Initially, Jan likely took pride in his appearance, sculpting his physique to match the standards of the industry, which ultimately became instrumental in his rise to fame and fortune. However, despite his promising start, he seemed to overlook the magnitude of the opportunities bestowed upon him. As he became more accustomed to the glamorous lifestyle of Hollywood, Jan's appreciation for his good fortune seemingly waned. He began dabbling in drugs and turning to alcohol, a path that would soon lead to turbulent times. His indulgence in substance abuse culminated in a series of arrests for cocaine possession spanning from 1977 to 1979 coinciding with the dissolution of his first marriage to Bonnie Portman in 1977. Jan's struggles with alcoholism often spilled over into violent behavior, leading to a string of incidents that tarnished his reputation and overshadowed his professional success. In the mid-1980s, during the peak of his fame with Airwolf, he found himself embroiled in legal troubles stemming from his drunken escapades, Arrests for brawling in bars in both 1984 and 1985 underscored the darker side of his celebrity status. The year 1986 marked a particularly troubling episode when he faced accusations of assaulting a woman in his home. Despite the gravity of the charges, his lawyer argued that the incident was a mere accident, resulting in Jan's acquittal. However, this incident shed light on a pattern of violence that extended beyond public altercations. Jan's tumultuous personal life further unraveled as allegations of domestic abuse surfaced, leading to the dissolution of his second marriage. Accusations from his ex-wife regarding physical violence highlighted a disturbing trend of aggression towards the women in his life. These issues persisted into the new millennium, with an ex-girlfriend alleging in 2000 that he had assaulted her while she was pregnant, resulting in the miscarriage of their child. Jan's struggles with alcohol abuse also manifested in reckless behavior behind the wheel. A drunk driving arrest in 1988 nearly led to prison time, but he avoided incarceration by agreeing to undergo rehabilitation. However, his penchant for driving under the influence continued unabated, resulting in a series of serious auto accidents throughout the 1990s. The 1996 accident marked a turning point in Jan's life catapulting him into a cycle of physical and legal turmoil from which he struggled to escape. Suffering from a broken neck and three fractured vertebrae, he underwent an emergency tracheotomy at the scene, resulting in a permanent hoarseness in his voice that would haunt him for the rest of his days. Despite the severity of the accident, Jan's battle with alcoholism persisted. In the same year, he found himself facing drunk driving charges once again, signaling a continued spiral into self-destructive behavior. However, rather than confronting his issues head-on, he opted for rehabilitation and probation, attempting to stave off the consequences of his actions. Unfortunately, his attempts at rehabilitation proved futile, and by the turn of the millennium, Jan's legal troubles only compounded. Violating the terms of his probation on multiple occasions, he found himself incarcerated for 60 days in the Orange County Jail after being caught intoxicated in public. These repeated brushes with the law underscored the depth of his struggles with addiction and his inability to break free from its grip.
As the new millennium unfolded, Jan's health continued to deteriorate, mirroring the downward trajectory of his personal and professional life. Another harrowing motor accident in 2008 served as a stark reminder of the fragility of his existence. By 2012, the toll of years of substance abuse became painfully evident as he faced the grim reality of having his right leg amputated due to peripheral artery disease. The loss of his limb marked a significant milestone in Jan's journey, serving as a tangible reminder of the consequences of his past actions. Fitted with a prosthetic leg and occasionally reliant on a wheelchair, he faced the challenges of navigating daily life with a newfound sense of vulnerability. It would be two years before Jan publicly acknowledged the amputation, acknowledging the precariousness of his situation and expressing gratitude for surviving the ordeal. Financial Struggles During these years, Vincent found himself grappling with a series of medical challenges that were only exacerbated by his ongoing substance abuse. Contracting pneumonia multiple times posed a severe threat to his already weakened state, highlighting the precariousness of his health. Furthermore, an infection necessitated penile amputation, further compounding his medical woes. This period was marked by frequent hospitalizations and surgeries, leading to a notable decline in his quality of life. Physically, he underwent a drastic transformation, with his once rugged appearance giving way to a gaunt and visibly unwell demeanor. The image of the charismatic actor was overshadowed by his deteriorating health, a stark departure from his heartthrob status during the peak of his career. The interplay between his health issues and substance abuse created a vicious cycle that proved challenging to overcome. Vincent's declining health posed obstacles to maintaining sobriety, perpetuating a cycle of substance abuse that only worsened his medical conditions. Consequently, this downward spiral took a toll on both his health and his professional endeavors. Moreover, the financial ramifications were dire as the exorbitant costs of medical treatments, surgeries, and hospitalizations drained his finances, leaving him financially destitute. The financial strain only added to the mounting stress he was already facing, making his recovery journey even more complex. During interviews, he openly discussed the impact of his health struggles on both his personal life and career, expressing remorse for the decisions that had led him to that point and acknowledging the toll his lifestyle had exacted on his body. Despite grappling with these challenges, he often appeared resigned to his circumstances as if coming to terms with the consequences of his actions. Furthermore, his declining health deeply affected his interpersonal relationships. His ability to maintain connections with friends, family, and colleagues was hindered by his physical limitations and the demanding nature of his medical care. The once charismatic actor who had thrived in social settings now found himself frequently isolated and grappling with feelings of loneliness. Jan Michael Vincent's journey through declining health and career setbacks was accompanied by a descent into financial turmoil and legal troubles. These challenges, partly stemming from his personal struggles, added another layer of complexity to his already tumultuous life. By the 1990s, his financial woes became widely known despite the significant income he had amassed during his peak years, notably from his role in Airwolf. Unfortunately, mismanagement due to substance abuse and health issues led to the depletion of his wealth, culminating in bankruptcy in 1997. The stark contrast from his previous life of luxury to struggling to maintain even a modest lifestyle was evident in the loss of his home and assets. This marked a tangible symbol of his fall from grace, transitioning from a celebrated actor to someone grappling with financial instability. Alongside his financial woes, legal troubles compounded Vincent's challenges. His struggles with substance abuse resulted in multiple arrests for alcohol-related offenses, including drunk driving, leading to hefty legal fees and fines that exacerbated his financial strain. These legal battles not only took a toll on Jan Michael Vincent's finances, but also on his mental and emotional well-being. The public scrutiny surrounding his legal issues brought about embarrassment and stress, reshaping his public image from that of an admired actor 
to someone associated more with mugshots and court appearances than with the silver screen. This shift in perception was particularly difficult for someone who had once been a beloved figure in American entertainment. Moreover, his financial struggles reverberated within the industry, affecting his relationships and opportunities. His erratic behavior, partly stemming from his financial and legal troubles, made it difficult for him to land roles. Producers and directors grew wary of casting someone with a track record of unpredictability, further limiting his chances of sustaining a career in acting and earning a livelihood. Jan Michael Vincent's Final Years and Death In the final years of his life, Jan Michael Vincent experienced a stark contrast to the vibrant and tumultuous days of his youth. His health continued to decline, prompting him to withdraw further from the public eye. He spent his days in relative obscurity, far from the glitz and glamour of his Hollywood heyday. Residing in North Carolina, he lived a quiet life, disconnected from his past as a celebrated actor. Public appearances became rare, and news about him was sparse. He embraced a modest lifestyle, a far cry from the opulence he once knew. Despite his withdrawal from the limelight, his name would occasionally resurface in the media, often in retrospectives or where-are-they-now features. These moments offered brief glimpses into the life of a man who was but a shadow of his former self. Physically and mentally, he was subdued, a stark contrast to the charismatic presence he once embodied. His health struggles, including infections and complications related to his amputation, served as a constant reminder of life's fragility. Vincent's final years were a time of reflection, marked by rare interviews where he expressed regret for past choices and unfulfilled potential. The recklessness of youth had given way to a sober acknowledgement of mortality. Amidst the hardships, there were moments of solace as he found comfort in the simplicity of life away from Hollywood's pressures. Recreational drug use can have serious consequences on one's health, including the development of conditions like bradycardia, characterized by a dangerously slow heart rate. While manageable with medication for those in good health, individuals in poor health are at greater risk. Unfortunately, Jan Michael Vincent's death in 2019 was partly attributed to bradycardia induced by his drug use. He experienced a fatal cardiac arrest while hospitalized in North Carolina at the age of 74. Vincent's life serves as a poignant example of someone who achieved early success but ultimately squandered it due to reckless behavior. Despite undergoing multiple stints in rehab, he appeared unwilling to fully confront his addictions. The consequences were evident in both his personal life and career trajectory, which spiraled into decline over the years. The tragic narrative of John Michael Vincent underscores the devastating impact of substance abuse, not only on individual health, but also on one's prospects and relationships. It serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of seeking help and making difficult choices to overcome addiction before it's too late. In conclusion, the life and career of John Michael Vincent were marked by soaring highs and devastating lows, ultimately culminating in a tragic demise. From his meteoric rise to fame in Hollywood to his struggles with addiction, health issues, and financial troubles, Vincent's story serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the pitfalls of fame. As we reflect on his legacy, we invite you to share your thoughts and memories of John Michael Vincent in the comments below. And if you found this content insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the life and career of Jan Michael Vincent and other compelling stories from the world of entertainment. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.